the year 2000, you created the DB Burger, which has mm -hmm. become obviously super famous, and everyone seeks it and craves it. And I know the ingredients, ground beef and braised short ribs and foie gras, and it's on a on pom potato, Parmesan potato bun. Right, right, right. You know very well many, the I, I do, I'm trying to think, do I have all the ingredients? Um, how many, how long did it take you when you were coming up with that to, to say, okay, this is it. I, I found well, you know, the, these ingredients. Were you trying all the, different things? And then you finally said, this is it. The DB here. Burger <laughs> was created about 15 years ago. Uh, a journalist from the New York Times called me and asked me, um, uh, he was asking me, do you think the French are really upset about the American? And why did uh, this French guy burn down a McDonald's in Toulouse uh, and all that? And I said, well, I don't know. Maybe the French are upset that they didn't create the burger in the first place. <laughs> and, uh, but at the same time, I say, I really believe that burger can be something healthy and burger can be something tasty and burger can be also a something on the chef menu. And one can call himself a chef and make a burger. And so I say, I have this idea of creating a, of making this burger where I want to do sort of a, a take on the Rossini, the tournado Rossini, where you have a tournado of beef mm -hmm. and you have a slice of foie gras and you have truffle sauce over, made with the uh, oxtails and all that. And so I say, I, I, I would like, I, one of my most popular dish on the menu is a braised short rib in, a, in red wine. And we're talking 15 years ago when short rib wasn't so everywhere on the menu. And, uh, and I would like to put the short ribs inside the burger. And I will also put foie gras. Would you come and have that to taste? So I invite that journalist to come. I made him the burger and it was this massive, beautiful burger. And uh, I never changed the recipe from day one. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Wow. And that night, I gave it to a lot of regular customers. I made a dozen of burgers, and I gave it as a little taste uh, to um, William Goldman, the famous uh, screenwriters, and to other customers. And they knew, and I knew right away that this was something unique so because everybody exploded in joy and said, Danielle. What did you do to us? Right. It's incredible. That just shows your brilliance. And think so of that combination. Is, I said, well, I, I put the burger uh, aside because I didn't have really a restaurant then to put the burger on, but I kept the idea. And when DB Bistro opened in 2001, I said, this will be the stage for DB Burger. Getting ready. Children crave a food they can identify. The seasoning has to be mild in a way. And sample here, we did it the real way. This is a Thai snapper. It's like a little crunchy fried scallop. It's the best part. Well, that's just regular fish. And the fried broccoli. Oh. Yeah, this is really good. It's awesome. Today, the kid had a very complex dinner, but sometimes simple things make us very happy as well. What was your favorite course? This one, this one. And the pasta, the pasta was delicious. Yeah. Well, next time we'll do macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Yes! To justice and all! To justice and all! To justice and all! The video that you recently had done has yes. gone viral. It's um, <laughs> second graders, and they were able to experience a seven course lunch. At, yes. at Danielle and first of all people don't even get to experience that let alone second graders so there's a select group and I watched the video many times it was fantastic but I'm curious what do you feel from their first reaction if you had to choose what it was based on the name of what they were eating the look of what they were eating mm -hmm. or the taste of what they were eating what really weighed most heavy in their reaction well uh, first uh, I wanted to make sure that I didn't overwhelm them with the explanation of a dish who is very complex. But um, we didn't alter anything in the recipe. We gave them grown up tasting menu. Uh -huh. And so they had, a, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 course by the time we give them the little taste right. of start and the finish with the balloon and the, oh, uh, with the fabulous. truffle balloon and the, uh, and the madeleine and all that. But uh, what was interesting is, their reaction to um, first 
the name, they had to connect to some essential things they understood and the protein and the, maybe the garnish and the seasoning. And, and, and then after they, the loop, they, they, of course they look and they, and they don't know what to think. Oh, what is that white right. thing? <laughs> uh, actually, it's a lobster salad right. inside a roll of a palm tree. Right. It's, a, it's a heart of palm, uh, which is wrapping up into a lobster salad. And they, they look at it like, oh, palm trees, lobster. OK, right. that's maybe a yeah. good idea. Right. They were <laughs> and, and then, uh, you know, caviar. Some You could see around the table, there were seven kids. And every one of them had a different upbringing. You could tell mm -hmm. and some of them have been exposed to certain things and have a certain understanding and almost uh, a certain um, curiosity and, and, um, and certainly appreciation for something kind of cool and different. And some other were really straightforward, like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like it. Uh, they, 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 they sort of made a, a statement and they might not want to like it right. and then they taste it and they start to connect with it right. and so it was it was a great experience and I think um, everyone had some uh, something uh, everyone had a reaction to it and most uh, most of it were very positive because mm -hmm. they ate very well right despite uh, i don't know if i like it i don't know if they I'm tasted gonna it. it they all tried it yeah, yeah they exactly tried it and they were excited that to see the excitement mm -hmm. i think that was really and this was a little clip because the entire experience lasted two two hours oh, okay. like a real tasting menu at right. the restaurant sure and we made them also some uh, uh specialty cocktail non-alcoholic cocktail with some uh, cucumbers uh, bowls inside and some citrusy cocktail. Right. And they were very, oh. uh, I mean, they were taken into a journey of like a fantasy uh, absolutely. in a way. And uh, for, for them, we have a lot of kids coming to the restaurant and when they come with their parents, the most important thing for us is to make sure that they're happy, those kids. And so we take them to the kitchen, we make them a chef hat, we take a picture with the team, we, we, we make sure that we simplified things if they want to have simplified food. I mean, we're not gonna do chicken nugget, right. but at the same time, we want to make sure we give them what they feel very happy with and they discover new taste with it. Mm -hmm. So that's what's important.